Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to another video on uh, to automate anything channel. So this is the most important topic, UiPath certifications. So many of you have a lot of doubts in uh, the UiPath certifications. So I thought of creating a video uh, to you all. Okay, first of all, what, what is UiPath certification and how many types of certifications are there? So is there any free certifications or is it a paid certification? And what are its benefits? So we are going to discuss a lot of uh, uh, things in the UiPath certification, right? Let's jump into this video. Okay, so before starting this video, first of all, let me uh, clear clearly mention that there is no free certifications available uh, in UiPath. However, there are certifications or learnings that you can do in UiPath Academy, but which, which is not uh, accepted by many of the companies um, or it's not accredited by UiPath. So that is why UiPath created this uh, certifications, which is uh, UiPath Certified RPA Associate, which is UiRPA, and UiPath Certified Advanced RPA Developer, which is UIARD. So if you go to UiPath Academy website, so you can see a lot of, uh, uh, I go to this learning by role and I find a lot of certifications here. You can still do that for your learnings and improving your RPA knowledge. However, the certificate that you, you are creating through this academy, you cannot um, consider that as a UiPath certification, right? So companies no longer accept this. So earlier uh, UiPath used to give it for free. Like uh, there is, when you finish the advanced, you get a certificate. So which is uh, highly recognized and accepted by many companies. Uh, but there are a uh, few, pe few people not using it in the right way because they are using the same projects again and again and able to clear this quite easily. So UiPath come up with a new platform of certification. So, which is, you need to go to uipath.com slash learning slash certification, as, as I have shown in the screenshot. So, when you go there, you have all the details of the certification, right? So, as I told, there is two uh, type of certificates. So, one is the UIRPA and UIARD. So, it is not a free certification, however, it is paid. Uh, dollar us dollar 150 for associate and 200 dollar for advanced rpa developer so let us uh, uh, explore further on the rpa associate so this associate is mainly for professionals who want to build assess and demonstrate their rpa skills right so it's mainly for the junior developers or who are uh, seeking the entry into the rpa career and they may be a college student, university students, or anyone who is interested to learn more about RPA, all are eligible to do this certificate. Let us uh, look a little bit more about this uh, um, uh, RPA associate. So first of all, let us see the syllabus. The syllabus is like they need to know uh, all the RPA fundamentals and more about the studios, like they need to know the variables and arguments and uh, have some experience with selectors, control flows, data manipulations. They need to know some uh, automation concepts and techniques. Also some uh, something about uh, orchestrator. So these are the knowledge that are required to clear. Uh, however, if you have a fundamental understanding and you have done your uh, um, RPA Academy uh, in the UiPath Academy, if you have done the RPA developer foundation training, so if you are able to complete all these trainings here, all these uh, lessons and able to clear this, you are in a better position to clear this certificate. Um, however, UiPath recommends uh, some three months of experience uh, as a minimal qualified candidate. Uh, so there is no prior experience, but still if you have three or six months experience, it is uh, uh, recommended. And uh, if you have done the UiPath RPA Developer Foundation training uh, that I have shown in UiPath, uh, so uh, you are good to clear this. Uh, 
So you may require this three to six months, which most of the people don't have that. So uh, you may contact us uh, in our professional uh, transformation program, which where we are giving a lot of trainings and you get that experience to clear that uh, and uh, to enter into this RPA market. Uh, we are changing a lot of uh, uh, career to many of, you, many of them who are interested uh, uh, to do in RPA. So we are giving this training and uh, most of us, uh, we, are, we are providing a lot of free trainings so you can register your interest and know more about this program. All right, so you've seen the syllabus and uh, you know uh, how much hours it takes. Uh, so it is a 90 minutes exam and the passing score is 70 percentage. So uh, you need to pay dollar $150. So that is why you need to take it um, uh, very carefully um, because in case if you are not able to pass this exam, so it's not refundable. Uh, so you need to wait for two more weeks to apply for the second time. Uh, so it's better you prepare well in advance to, to clear this exam in the first attempt itself. So you have a lot of contents online. So choose the best contents. So I would recommend the uh, UiPath Academy, uh, the foundation training, uh, which has all, all the enough information to clear this exam. Um, however, there are also very good contents online. You can search for that. Uh, go through this professional transformation program and all my videos uh, into automate anything channel and that will give you a, a better uh, idea of how to uh, attend this exam right so now let's go through this advanced uh, uh, advanced certification uh, so which is uiard so to uh, to take this exam um, you need to have at least six months to one year of experience uh, or more than one year of experience. So which gives you enough uh, uh, confidence to take this exam because this is the most difficult exam when compared with uh, the uh, RPA associate. And uh, this require a lot of advanced skills and you know to know all the concept and the implementation knowledge as well. So definitely it's, a, it's quite a complex exam. You need to uh, give a lot of preparation before taking this exam. And let us look uh, something more about uh, this certificate. So which is like, let us go through the syllabus. Uh, you need to know in and out of the uh, UiPath Studio. Uh, need to know about activities and properties. And most importantly, you need to know about the RE framework. Uh, so this is the most important for that you need to uh, finish the advanced developer training in UiPath Academy that gives you more confidence. Uh, however, uh, the two automate anything channels also have a lot of videos around this uh, RE framework. You can go through that. And uh, we have the selectors. .NET classes and objects. Uh, you need to know a lot of advanced UiPath functions and also the error handling and troubleshooting and more uh, advanced orchestrator functions. So if you know all these things, all these uh, subjects, so you, you are in a better position to clear this exam. Um, the main version that uh, the currently this certification runs is on the uh, UiPath version 2020.10 and uh, and like uh, it's uh, it's a 120 minutes exam, which is two hours of exam. The minimum passing score is 70 percentage, and the exam fee is $200. So you're paying uh, uh, such a uh, $200, so you need to be very careful of taking this exam as well. So prepare very well in advance to take this exam, and uh, you'll be in a good shape once you go through all the trainings and what our tips I have told. So once you follow all that, you are in a better position to clear this uh, exam very well. All right, so once you are prepared very well, so you, need, you have just five steps. So the first steps is to book for the correct exam, whether it may be an associate or the RPA developer depends on whichever exam you are going to take. Just register, select and pay for that exam. Second, learn thoroughly, uh, have enough practice just before you take the exam. So for a practice, uh, like if they have uh, some website to register and take the practice exam. So if you ask the question whether it will be the same question will be repeated, uh, the simple answer is no. And it's just to give you a glimpse of the same exam. And um, uh, yeah, so it's, it's just to manage the time and everything you can practice. 
um, but it's not the same exam. The questions will be entirely different. Um, and uh, yeah, so, and you can take the exam. So next is uh, you, you're going to take. So on the exam day, you need to be very well prepared and uh, have the right environment and settings to take this exam. Uh, you will be given an email, all the instructions. So follow the instructions uh, the way it is told, like setting up your computer and having uh, your cameras, uh, everything on. So sit in a polite, like a calm place where you can take the exam peacefully. And it, since it's the proctored exam, you need to have switch on your camera and someone will be watching you throughout the exam. You are not supposed to talk during this exam and uh, uh, your desk, desk should be uh, free of any other gadgets and everything. So no other computers, you need to be use only one laptop and uh, not multiple screens, no, no multiple screens are allowed. And you are not, uh, basically you are not allowed to cheat in this exam. Uh, if you're fined, you're doing something wrong, you'll be, um, you'll be stopped to uh, taking this exam further and uh, uh, you'll be, um, yeah, so you're not allowed, uh, like you will not get the certificate uh, if you're, if you, in case if you're cheating in the exam. So take it very carefully. And, and, uh, and during the exam, like the main challenge will be to manage the time. So manage the time, uh, keep a, uh, eye on your, uh, the timing so uh, manage accordingly to finish in, well in advance um, yeah the time will be like it will be a bit crunchy so you need to take care of uh, your timings especially and uh, yeah you need to take photographs of your surrounding to ensure you are uh, you are in a safe place to attend um, just to make sure nothing is going wrong so once you take this exam and once you're able to clear, you will be able to see the certificate in the uh, UiPath certification manager. Uh, so you'll be given access to the certification manager. So where I go on to the badges and in the badges, you can find this, uh, so the RPA, ad, advanced RPA developer. So if you see this detail, so I cleared last year, 2020 on uh, during the September. Uh, so the best thing I like is it's valid forever. Uh, I am an RP developer. So there has been number of views uh, in this 52 views. So mainly this has been viewed by, by the employers um, or many clients if it is valid. And when you go to the certifications, it gives me this, the started date and it expires, never expires. You can download the logo and the PDF certificate. So when I download the PDF certificate, it looks something similar to this. So it has a verification code for the companies to verify uh, the valid validity of this certificate. So I hope you understand uh, all these things and uh, I wish you all the best in uh, you to clear this certificate. Um, it's quite challenging, but yeah, it's, it's uh, I, I can't say it is not possible. It's definitely possible given uh, enough preparation uh, on all the topics and uh, uh, being ready for that uh, during the exam time, if you are very well focused, it's you will be able to definitely clear this certificate. Um, and uh, yeah, I wish you again uh, all the best. So please reach out to me if you have any questions. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends so that you change uh, the fortune of someone else as well. Um, yeah, please uh, um, keep commenting and uh, let me know if you have any, any doubts. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. Let's meet again in another uh, video. See you soon. Bye.